Well, let's just take a good old look at the Crypto Hopper platform here. And what do I have? It's a bag. Another bag. Another bag. Another bag. I have so many bags. Nerdy Dude Stuff. What's going on, everybody? I'm O'Price, and welcome to another video about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, Crypto Hopper, and all that good stuff. For everyone keeping track at home, today's drink of the day is a single malt scotch whiskey, Talisker 10-year, and it's delicious. <sighs> On the rocks, of course. Taking a look at the market, we're looking at a nice drop-off. I mean, well, I mean, we had our drop already, but back from when we were doing videos last week at 8,000, 8.5 thousand, almost 9,000, we're stabilizing a little bit around the 7.4 thousand mark. If there's any other, like, slight drop-off, it's probably a good time to buy. Ethereum dropping down ever so slightly, even more away from 600. Ripple hanging out at 60 cents. Litecoin, 118. That's not the worst buy, because this is a good coin. It's going to linger around 140, 150. Cardano, 19 cents. It's another red day. Uh, I mean, the market's moving slightly sideways. At least we're not seeing like 7% and 10% and 12% drops or anything like that. So we are building up some support at these baselines here to probably see another big purchase spike. So that's kind of what's going on. Not terrible. Let's take a look at a couple other coins. Of course, you're going to see this one here. This is my midterm to long-term hold. This one fluctuates between 13 cents and 15 cents. Anything really under 13 cents is a great time to add to your portfolio if this is a long-term coin you're looking for. And so this isn't too bad, but again, this is a mid to long-term hold. So now to answer everyone's questions, I've received a couple of comments after I've gone over the settings on my crypto hopper and a couple of people have looked at my portfolio and asked why I'm holding these bags. Now, did my bot do this? Was this my bot's fault? Absolutely not. The Zill hold up here uh, about two weeks ago I did a bunch of videos and some streams on Zill and these coins these holdings were actually up about 20% but now they're down 24% which is okay because again this is my mid to long term hold Zill is forecasted to be a dollar to two dollars by the end of 2018 and there's ever changing news every single day coming about out about this coin unfortunately Zill can't carry the market on its back but that's okay now Nano is a bag and did the bot know that it was going to turn into a bag as soon as I purchased it and it was going to drop down to 16% under? No, absolutely not. So anytime the bot makes these purchases, it's not the bot's fault. You can't sit there and say, oh, it's a scam, it's crud, it's crap. Because realistically, if you were yourself said, oh, I'm a chart reader and Nano looks like it's going to be something that's going to go way up, then of course you're going to buy. And then if something happens where Nano ends up dumping, then pfft, there you go. Is Nano a bad coin? Absolutely not. Is that going to be the price it's going to be at forever? Absolutely not. Is it something to be day trading on? Not at the negative 16% loss, but I mean, if you break down Nano's chart, maybe it is a decent day trading coin with plenty of entry and exit points, but I'm not doing that right now. Unfortunately, this is turning into a medium hold. You know, and as we look back at some of the crypto market and we look back at, um, let's even just pull up Nano and we look back at some of the charts, the charts. Now, I'm not a technical analysis chart reader or anything like that, but if we look back at Nano over the past three months, there's been some high times and low times. There's been some higher value in the coin, especially around the time frame when I bought, there's been some higher value in the coin. So this is just gonna recover as the market recovers. You know, who knows what's gonna happen when Bitcoin jumps itself back up to 20 grand. All these coins are gonna be much more valuable and they're gonna be carrying their weight as well. So I'm not quite upset that the crypto hopper purchased and now I'm uh, one week in holding a 16% bag. Now, the other two coins, these are going to be trading off very soon. Th minus 3%, minus 2.5% is nothing terrible or nothing worth being scared about. Steam will probably sell within the next day or so. I could look at that chart and see, but I'm not going to do that right now. The highlight and the focus about what you should do if you're carrying some bags in Crypto Hopper or in your portfolio. And the first thing I'm going to say, I'm going to go over a couple of tips the fr and a solution potentially, right? The first thing I'm going to say is the number one thing is not to panic. This is cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is hindsight 20 to 20. If you sit there and you panic and you sell the coins because you're like, all right, I can't take any more of a loss. I'm going to sell what I have now and try again. Chances are, I'm not saying it's a guaranteed, but just with my luck is the coin is then going to rock it up. So if I sold Nano at negative 16% loss, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to take the loss. By tomorrow, it's going to be up 32%. That's just how crypto works for me. That's just my luck. I mean, if you guys want me to buy a coin and so it dumps and then you guys buy it before I sell, I guarantee the price is going to go up, but whatever. Anyway, the second thing you need to do is you need to keep a level head. At the end of the day, this is uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin translates to a, a currency. And at the end of the day, we're all trying to make money and financial gains in this Bitcoin platform. So if you keep a level head, you understand this is the market and this is how things go, just like the stock market, then you're going to understand that, you know, it's, it's not necessarily 
a get rich it isn't a get rich overnight thing unless you turn around and you dump like a million dollars into Binance and have your hopper trade a million dollars for 1.7 2.6 1.7% gains that's it's, but you're already rich at that point so it does take money to make money but it, right now for us little guys these kind of bags and $500 trades at 1% or 2% daily and five of those a day is going to make us you know an extra case of beer or a little bit more gas or anything like that or it's going to be great for the long term hold so when we do get to the $20,000 bitcoin you've already accumulated so much Satoshi in Bitcoin that now you're seeing not just $50 from maybe like 10% of your 500, you're seeing $1,000 from your 500. The, the solution slash if this is something you absolutely need to get rid of right now is yes, and you have a bot, you're going to have to do a little bit of work. So the bot's got your bag. Let's say if I wanted to get rid of Nano right now, um, and I wanted to take profit and I didn't want to lose 16%, I'm going to have to do some research in Nano and I'm going to have to do some chart analysis and I'm going to have to see when I think Nano might recover, not necessarily 16%, but maybe 5, 6, 7, 8%. So that way we're not in such a red zone. And then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make, I would have to go over here or I can do it on Binance, but I'm not logging into my Binance. I'm going to show everything from the hopper because that's the flavor of the year for me now is the crypto hopper platform. Um, what I would do is I would make a purchase of Nano at the current value. And let's see if I can actually do it right now. And I've shown, I've shown this before and there's an automatic setting for this in Crypto Hopper. So what I would do is I would take Nano at what it's going at right now, which is the negative 16.5% at what I bought it the other day or two week, or a week ago. And then I would buy, I don't even think I have enough to do this transaction, but all right, so if I were to do that and buy this right now, let's see if that's gonna go through. Not enough funds, okay. So if I had enough funds or if one of these sold off, then I would purchase Nano at its current price, which is under what it's purchased before. And then I would take the two positions and I'm gonna just say these two are the positions. Let's imagine Steam was Nano. Use your imagination with me for a minute. Put on your thinking cap. Have a sip of your drink, calm down. Let's just pretend that Steam is Nano and Steam is, I just bought it. And then I would select the two coins over here on the box option. I would go to bulk actions and I would click on merge positions. Now what this is gonna do is then gonna merge the two positions together. So one is breaking even if I was to sell and one's under 16%. The laws of average would say then I would be with the two positions merged, maybe be down 8% because maybe climbing 8% back up to you know 9% or, you know to get yourself a 1% profit, you're only going 9% up. That's easier to make that profit. And I've done this before and I've showed this before. Now, if this is something that you didn't want to do and you just want to put the hopper on autopilot and you want to walk away and you've got balls of steel and you don't want to micromanage and I personally have to micromanage, there is a setting for that and I'm going to show it here. And there, some of you guys that follow my channel, you know I've talked about this before, you know I've discussed this before, but a lot of people that are coming to my channel now and subscribing, which I appreciate each and every single one of you, isn't going back and watching these old videos where I explain it, so I need to explain it with a different twist and a new fun way to learn. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. You know, a teacher in high school that teaches ninth grade is gonna teach ninth grade multiple times to multiple different students, not just take those students that he got at ninth grade and then teach them 10th grade and then teach them 11th grade. So technically, I'm teaching ninth grade to another generation of students right now, and all my regular subscribers and followers, thank you for watching and listening, and maybe this is a refresher course for you before you take the SATs. Anyway, uh, there is an option under configuration and it's called dollar cost averaging, DCA. In a nutshell, this is exactly what I just showed you where you purchase, you have your bag at negative 15% and then you purchase at the current market rate and then it kind of merges the two together. So your, do your dollar cost, your dollar cost averaging, the cost of each is gonna average in between so that way, let's say you bought the coin and dropped down $10 and then you just bought it and then it merged and then so then you would have a bunch of coins that you'd wanna sell at five, that would average at $5. So then if you were to sell them at $6 a piece, you're then gonna be in profit. So the DCA, option tells the hopper to buy more of a loss making coin for example my nano it will triple your holding so the dca setting actually does this three times to merge the coins together uh where i was just doing it once but three times you're gonna have a better chance of probably getting into profit a lot faster if you just can't do if you're more of the day trader and you can't do the midterm hold it will triple your holding to try to trade out of the loss this is a high risk option to use with care and then check the documentation which you can see over here under support for more information that's a great feature. I like doing this decision on my own. So, you know, right now, if I were to throw some more Bitcoin into my Binance platform, I could then manually do this dollar cost averaging with Nano and I could bring it together or I can turn on the DCA option and then it will do that as well. But I feel this is something that I need to micromanage. Now you guys might be saying, well, you got a kangaroo package. You're just wasting your subscription fee if you're not letting the bot do everything. 
Yes, that's very true. But even Crypto Hopper staff knows that this is a high risk option because, you know, chances are if you were to do this and let the bot automatically do it and the bot just bought a coin, you know, it, cut, it, cut, it averaged out and then the coin dropped even more, you're going to blame the bot. I like to do this because if I decide to go into Nano and the Nano plummets, I have two things to blame myself for. One, I haven't done my due diligence on Nano and I haven't researched any news or updates on why the coin might be dropping or why it might be increasing. And B, I haven't sat there and really thought about the technical analysis on the chart or understood the patterns, which I might not necessarily believe in, but I haven't done my due diligence to the coin. So those are some great ways to not panic if you're holding some bags. Um, I, hopefully these lessons sink in. This isn't something that you're gonna, you know, you can't turn around and just yell at the bot for this because at the end of the day, the bot is doing the work that you should be doing, you know, I mean, I'm not saying you should be doing, but that's what the bot's here for. You set it up, you tell it what you want to trade upon, you know, you get influence from other YouTubers or myself on what settings you have. <clears throat> At the end of the day, you're in complete control of the bot. Sometimes it works as a set it and forget it. Sometimes it works better if you keep tabs on it all day long. So anyway, thank you very much for watching the video today, guys. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, I greatly appreciate it. It's a great way to show some love and support to the channel for free. And then like, comment, all that good stuff. Don't forget the uh, gambling thing, the free Bitcoin. Join the pool every single Sunday. 80% of my uh, referral pool Satoshi Value up here is given out to everyone that's active. So all you need to do is hit the free BTC link, do your hourly roll, get some Satoshi, play the multiply game. Uh, Select high, low, but make sure you select one. Bet the minimum until you lose three times in a row. Switch your bet to 10 Satoshi, and then you get a win. And like that, you build my pool and get more. Anyway, I'm O'Price, and we'll see you guys next time.